Hey everyone, how's it going? Cloud here, and welcome to my guide on the forgettable tale of a drunken dwarf quest. Quite a lengthy title there, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, before we get going through this guide, we're going to cover a few things which are the requirements and items needed to complete this quest. So, for quest requirements, you need to have completed the Giant Dwarf quest and the Fishing Contest quest, and you also need to have level 22 cooking and level 17 farming. That's it for the requirements, now onto the items. So you're going to need several coins, about 400 should do it. Uh, you will need two barley malt, which can be either bought from the Grand Exchange, or if you use regular barley on a cooking range, that will um, turn it into barley malt. You'll want two buckets of water. You'll want two beers uh, and a beer glass, or you can just simply buy a third beer and then drink it, that's up to you. And you'll also want a kebab. The kebab and beers can be bought in Keldegrim, but it might save you some time to bring them along with you. Anyways, that's it for the requirements and items, now onto the quest starting point. So, we are currently at the Varrock Lodestone, which can be accessed via the Lodestone network. Now, the fastest way to reach Keldegrim is by using the Cart Trap Door in the northwest part of the Grand Exchange. Um, so, literally head to the Grand Exchange from Varrock. Uh, obviously, if you've got a Ring of Wealth, um, you can also choose to teleport to the Grand Exchange via that method, and you'll find the Trap Door in the northwestern part. Alternatively, there is another way you can get there um, if you teleport to the Fremenic Province Lodestone uh, and then head sort of northeast. There's an entrance to the Keldegrim city from there, and you'll need to reach them by boat. But either way, I'll speak to you once you're at Keldegrim. So, once you're inside the city of Keldegrim, you'll want to speak to a Veldebarn, who is the commander of the Black Guard in the Black Guard headquarters, who you spoke to in the previous quest. Um, he's west of the Keldegrim Bank, so you want to head there now. We'll just watch where I'm going if you're not too sure. So speak to him and he's rather shocked to tell you that after the incident at the end of the Giant Dwarf quest, the Red Axe Company has left Keldegrim and will soon be kicked out of the Consortium, uh, however you pronounce it. However, he finds it suspicious and wants you to investigate the mining group. The only lead that they have is currently a dwarf living in East Keldegrim who expresses strange behaviour when the company is mentioned. So, agree to help him and you'll be automatically transported to the dwarf's house, who, which is just northeast of the kebab store in East Keldegrim. Speak to the dwarf, who is rather drunk and will ask you for a drink, so pass him one of your beers. If you haven't got those beers and need to purchase them with you, you can buy them at either the Laughing Miner or the King's Axe Inn for two coins and several pubs around. Um, he, however, wants some of the really, really good stuff, which is an incredibly alcoholic drink called Kelder's Stout. So, to make the drink, you need to grow some Kelder hops from four Kelder seeds, possessed by some of his drunken friends named Korvac, Gauss, and the Rowdy Dwarf. The Drunken Dwarf will give you the first seed to set you off. So for the next seed, you want to go to the west side of Keldegrim and talk to Gauss. He's in the King's Axe Inn, south of the bank in West Keldegrim. He will ask you to do a toast with him, so buy him a beer if you haven't already got one, and talk to him again to get the seed. If you buy a Dwarven Stout, you won't drink it during the animation, and you can use the glass in the next step. Uh, and outside the Laughing Miner pub, which is on the east side of Keldegrim, near the minecart, you should see a rowdy dwarf. He will ask you for a random item in exchange for a seed. If you talk to the rowdy dwarf uh, later, you can select the option that you don't know where to get the item and he will ask you to get another item. Now there's literally a load of random items that he can ask you for, anywhere from bat bones to a burnt chicken to a fake beard. Um, so what I'll do, in the video description below, I will write where you can obtain all those items. The main majority you'll be able to buy from the Grand Exchange, but some of them you won't. Uh, and then obviously you can use that to pinpoint where to get your item if you're not sure. However, like I said, you can ask him to uh, um, request you another item if it's too difficult for you to obtain. To get the next seed you want to go to White Wolf Mountain by either using the minecart, so you can choose the option to go to White Wolf Mountain, or you can go to the Taverly Lodestone and enter the tunnel uh, from there. Once you're in the uh, tunnel, you want to go to the pub section and speak to Korvac, a Dwarven Engineer, and take a Dwarven Stout off the table and give it to him to get the seed. You borrow the seed as you manage to convince him that you will return it. 
So, once you have all four seeds, go to the Hops Farming Plot, which is in front of the palace in West Keldgrim, east of the bank, and ask Rhines the Gardener for advice on planting the seeds there, and he'll tell you that for some reason, sunlight is harmful for Kelder seeds, and hence you can only grow it underground. So, weed the garden using a rake, plant the hops, and then wait 5 to 20 minutes. Um, you don't have to be online, um, but you will get a notification when the hops are ready, so you can sort of go away for 20 minutes to not XP waste. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or just simply log out and log back in 20 minutes later and either way it will come up the prompt saying perhaps I should take a look if my Kelder hops have grown um, the hops don't require any attention or water and cannot get disease so you don't have to worry about that either so when the seeds have grown you then want to pick the Kelder hops so now we need to turn it into the brew. So if you go back to the bar in East Keldergrim, go upstairs and you'll see there's a fermenting vat. Uh, what you want to do is use two buckets of water on the fermenting vat, then add two of your barley malt and then finally the Kelder hops. You then want to pick up the empty pot in the corner of the room and ask Blanderbeer to fill it up with ale yeast for 25 coins. You then want to put this in the vat and then you'll have to wait another 5 to 20 minutes. Again, you do not have to be online, but you will get a notification saying that the ale is ready. Um, hopefully, though, you won't have to wait as long as 20 minutes, but the time is completely random. The colour of the liquid in the vat will change from translucent dark into a white colour um, when it's close to being done. So when the stout has fermented, turn the vat valve and use a beer glass on the barrel and you'll then end up with the Kelder stout. You then want to go back to the drunken dwarf and use the option that says I need to know about the red axe to give him the Kelder stout. So the dwarf will tell you about how quite a while ago he resigned from his company. Uh, he then went to the now abandoned southern Keldgrim mines to explore and accidentally fell into the abyss and encountered pink dragons amongst other things. Head to the mine tracks to the south and speak to the southernmost cart conductor who is south of the tracks and ask him about the closed off tunnel to which he mentions he cannot open unless the concertium orders so. So you must go talk to an influential friend. So you want to talk to the director of the mining company that you joined during the Giant Dwarf quest. Now if you do not remember which mining company you joined, you can either speak to Veldebarn to be reminded, or speak to each director until you are recognised. Either way, once you have spoken to the director, they'll be glad to open up the tunnel for your help, and with the boards removed, you can now ride the southern car into the tunnel, so you want to head there when you're ready. So you'll find yourself before a gigantic abyss at the end of the cart ride and a short cutscene shows the vastness of the area along the tracks. You can only proceed through one of the many exits on the other side of the chasm. If you log out at any time while in the cave you will be transported out of the city and your progress will be saved. So to get past each room you need to complete a cart puzzle and you'll need to collect the square stones from the box next to the controls and set them in the dwarven machinery so you can travel to both the blue mark and the destination red cross. The highlighted line controls the path that the cart will take and your goal is to set up a connection between the red square all the way to the left and the boxes that are to the right. Uh, you can place uh, and rotate a stone in a junction, click once for green, twice for yellow and three times to remove the stone. So for room 1, to get past this room you need to operate the controls and place the yellow stone on the farthest spot to the left and the green stone one spot below that. I will show you a freeze frame on the video so you know. You then want to hop onto the cart and when it takes you to the other side you want to search the box on the platform to obtain another green square stone. You will then want to take the cart back to the control box. Now there are two ways to go forward with the next one, either green yellow green or green green yellow. Once you set that up, ride the cart again and search the box for a second yellow stone and then return back to the control box. And then finally, connect the stones to the red cross with the two green blocks on the right hand side and the yellow blocks on the left hand side and then ride the cart to the second room. So in this room you'll eavesdrop on a conversation between uh, an ogre shaman and a red axe henchman discussing the crossbreeding of dwarfs and ogres and you learn that the red axe bribed the boatman into deliberately crashing into the statue so they can blame it on a human in the giant dwarf quest. You'll then want to crawl through the hull at the opposite end of the room where you entered. So 
So, for room 3, you'll now be in another minecart abyss. You want to search the box to receive two yellow and one green stone. Put the green stone on the far left and a yellow one above it, and another yellow one to the right. Once you've done that, ride the cart, search the box and ride back. Now put a yellow stone at the far left, another yellow uh, one spot below that, a green one below that, and another green to the right. Again, ride the car, search the box, and return back. Put a green stone on the far left, another green one, the spot above that, a yellow one, the spot above that, a green to the right and below, and a yellow to the right. And then again, ride the car to the fourth room. Now, you appear in a small archive room with a number of bookcases and crates, the ones with visible contents being searchable. You want to search three crates, one contains papers concerning taxes, profits, etc. The other two, however, are much more interesting. There is a copy of a letter addressed to the Dwarven Boatman, signed by the Colonel, and it speaks of the bribe of which the parts of the plans you overheard earlier. The other letter is a report of an exploring dwarf who entered the mines, who is your new buddy, the Drunken Dwarf, whose memory was wiped to avoid risk. One of the books in the bookcases contains information on the Red Axe employees, in particular uh, the Colonel, and the former is the henchman you met earlier. You want to read through all of the documentation and once you've done that then continue exploration. Now the final one, room 5, so moving forward from the report to room, you'll arrive at the final chasm. Search the box for two yellow and two green stones. You then want to do green, green, yellow, yellow, uh, in that sort of order going upwards, and then obviously ride the car, search for the contents and ride back. Then for the next one, you want to do yellow, 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 sort of going down, then a green block going down, and then the other two green blocks going up. And again, ride the car, search the crate, and then ride back. And then finally, you want to go green, green, yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow, yellow, sort of heading all the way to the very sort of north part of the map. And once you've done that, ride the car to go to the sixth and final room. So a cutscene will start where the Red Axe Director will show off his army of Chaos Dwarfs, but before you can report back to the Commander, the Ogre Shaman catches you prying into your plans and casts a spell that eliminates all your memories. So you want to return back to Commander Veldaban, and alas, you don't remember anything what happened, but your instincts will tell you to go to the Laughing Miner pub and have a beer and kebab. So if you haven't already got a kebab with you, you can buy a kebab from the store owner on the east side and immediately southwest of the Drunken Dwarf's home you can buy a beer from the pub to the south. Once you're inside, drink the beer and then eat the kebab to begin a humorous cutscene and you must do this inside the pub and in that order. And then after the cutscene, uh, you'll obviously watch all the different antics going on, it will come up, congratulations, you've completed the forgettable tale of a drunken dwarf. You're awarded two quest points, 5,000 farming and cooking experience, two mature dwarven stout, two treasure hunter keys and two hearts of ice. So there we go, quest complete. Again, obviously not really a rewarding quest, it's quite lengthy, especially having to do all the travelling over the mine tracks and all that, but this is required to do the Forgiveness of a Chaos Dwarf quest, and there's some obviously uh, sequel quests after that, which will give you very good rewards, so inevitably you're going to have to complete this one if you want to do those ones. But um, if you follow my guide, it shouldn't take you too long. So... You shouldn't run into any problems, however, if you do get stuck, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll help you out as best as I can. If not, thank you for watching, please make sure you like, favourite, comment, subscribe and don't forget to share with your friends. Cheers everyone, bye bye.